Well, good morning, guys. It's the next project for the day. Little problem here. What size is this? What size is this? S175. S175. What's the problem? Well, there's a chain that's loose and couldn't figure out why. But as soon as you do a little more research, you find out that that's why. The baby busted loose. And it's hard to tell because you know you got the tire here, everything's covering it. And, but as soon as you start doing a little bit more looking into it and you start realizing that's what where the problem is and so uh the goal is to cut this off close that gap and hopefully that'll be enough to be able to tighten this chain up i've got my buddy ken here uh, who does all the wrenching he did a fantastic job taking all this apart thank you very much <laughs> that's gonna help out a lot so that'll help me get some access to the back side of this tube is well done here you can't see it and i won't hardly be able to see it either but we'll get it uh, so a little bit of work uh, a lot of acrobatics but uh it should be fine so need to quit yapping and get started <laughs> All right, let's go. okay so the first order of business is to gouge that off and see if that will pull back tight enough to t tension the chains I'm hoping that we don't have to cut all this off, but we just might, but we'll see. Uh, so we'll find out here in a minute if that'll be enough. And then that way I can just weld around the corner. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get that done. Okay, so um, I cut that weld loose, and you can definitely see the gap now, uh, plain as day. And so hopefully we're gonna be able to try to, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put a chain around here and pull this backwards, and hopefully it'll close up that gap. So that will get our tension back. And then I can put a little gouge around the perimeter of that axle tube and weld it up. Maybe you go back here. Oh, Bottom anymore. Give me a, give me a, I'm gonna 
gonna hit the end of this uh, bolt, is that right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we pulled some tension on it and it turns out that there's a little bit more of a gap here than there is over there. So that well, that's sort of telling us is that this axle tube is pointed that way. Uh, it's doing fine there, but not up here in the front. And unfortunately, they welded it all pretty good. <laughs> so now I gotta cut all that loose so that this guy can move forward just a little bit. And with that little bit, it'll pivot this whole tube enough to pull this chain a little bit tighter. Because it, it tightened up some, but not enough. So a little more work, a little more digging, but no big deal. All right, let's see if we can cut this guy loose here. Eek. Arkansas creeper? What? You have an Arkansas creeper? It's gonna be a lay on carpet, cardboard or something? Okay, uh, yeah. So far so good. I can see the separation gap and you know just that little bit there may make a huge difference pivoting over there. So we'll keep doing it.
Okay, so that doesn't look all too pretty, but uh, I had to get that weld off. So I'm hoping that when we shift this forward, it'll tension it just like we need. Uh, Ken's gonna take the wheel off so we can use that other axle tube as leverage to chain this guy together and pull it that way. There is a gap on this side here that um, may help in tightening that. So we shall see here in a moment. So let's get that wheel off and uh, get that pulled tighter. Okay, so that did a good job in tightening that up. Uh, turns out that that's still got a gap more so than what I would like. It, it just was beating around and uh, you know, it watered it out a little bit. So if anything, I'll get good penetration at least, <laughs> right? <clears throat> so now this, this plate is not flush with the top. So we're gonna try and push down from here onto there just a little bit, suck that back down a little. And I think we're good. It's looking really nice. So uh, we're getting close. Might just work out, eh? It's a lot easier than that first time it's gonna go. Somebody just jinxed ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I learned very early on not to say, oh, it's a piece of cake. Like, because you open up a can of worms that you don't realize, and yeah. then you're there all day. need a little tension just to kind of push so so long as you can see the that top edge of that plate over there semi flush right in this area yeah just a little bit it may not need much right there you go oh yeah right on okay so that popped into place just like we wanted it you can't see it but now it's time to weld her up now comes the fun part Eey. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, this gap closed up really nicely. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me weld that up in the bottom of the, the saxo first. Bottle 
project go now? Okay. Kind of see you around the top half. Sometimes it's a guess of whether or not I got the right footage. I didn't get to see it all. I guess. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm not. I'm not a good picture taker, so I don't think I would be a good video taker. <laughs> uh, you gotta give her a shot. But I, got, I got a friend that's really good at that, and he said he wants to come along and help out. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, 
how about let off on that? Come along. Just a little bit now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it move a lot. I guess if you like where it's at, we'll just roll it where it's at. I don't think it's going to cause any problems as far as the uh, inside of the tank. There's plenty of clearance there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So after all this contraption, we're stuck. This little guy has a shoulder that's sticking out a little bit. The uh, axle tube is slid out about uh, a strong eighth of an inch, but that's more to weld onto, right? More a filler weld now. <laughs> so um, I, he's happy with the chain tension there, and that's pulling it backwards that way. So I think we're gonna be good. So. We'll just call that good and start welding on it. It's more aesthetics, I guess, for now. Let me see. Yeah, it's looking good. Everything's looking really good. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, there's uh, some tacks right in that area there. It looked really good. I mean, uh, it looks like it's gonna penetrate really nicely. So we're gonna leave that at that. We're gonna loosen these chains and stuff so we can get it uh, <coughs> accessible, right? Cause I don't wanna climb underneath it and jack fall on me, that kind of stuff. Go ahead and take this, uh, come along off and then start welding the sheet metal on this outside, outer edge. And I'll do that inner stuff last. That way I'll have more room in this area to work around. So let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay, we can take this all off.
Okay, so I made a heck of a mess. Turns out when we shifted this forward, it created more of a gap because I gouged a little too deep. So uh, we at least got it covered. I ended up using some 6011s or 1109s. Kidding. Uh, and now I will put some 718. Okay, so I had a little bit of camera malfunction to where the battery died on this one. Tried using the other one. It didn't work. Either way, so you missed out some of this. But this guy is about as good as it's gonna get. That was pretty tough, uh, but it's closed up. So now our goal is to weld up that area there and finish welding that over there. I think we can go ahead and let go of that chain, which is good. So I can get more access around it. So next is this guy right here. Usually you're by yourself, so you gotta figure out how to do it. One person's job is one. The one guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so I got the first pass down on there. Seems to do all right. I'm gonna keep having to reach through these openings, right? Because that's the only access. So let me uh, continue on with that. there next step it's always so funny when you get uh camera angles like this you know like you can see it with a camera inky yeah. but the camera's around the corner somewhere uh -huh. oh yeah man it reach anywhere
sometimes if it's just a four inches longer. Yeah, man, oh man. Across here, oh, you're yeah, still hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll tell you what, let me run a really hot, like a 60 10 pass on it. You have a real hot burn in there, you know? Yeah, like a root pass. Yeah.
got about as much as we can get welded around there. I think I got... Oh man, that looks like the 7 o'clock. Hopefully it's the 6 o'clock area. So now I got the 6 to the 3. The fun part. Somewhere in there. I can't even see it. Maybe we can see it over here. Uh, maybe nothing. Oh, it smokes. That's gonna be tough. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, we had some good uh, penetration, even with the. Uh, it's hot. Even with the uh, the big old gap. So that worked out all right. Okay, let me see how I can do this one. This one's gonna be a little tough. play this back right quick and if it's uh, sealed then I'll show it in the video so let me check it out okay so after doing a little research it looks like we did get around it pretty good so that's done but we found another little crack over here that we need to take care of right in here oh can't see that can't see that either right in that area there so we'll take care of that right quick and we'll be done
right, well, it looks like this is gonna be it. I didn't like these cracks in here, but it is what it is, especially at this point. This machine is actually pretty beat up. So make it last a little long, longer, and they should be happy. But as far as uh, the main stuff, the tube that was broken, that worked out really well. So, uh, I think that'll do it. I don't know, man. I think that'll work. Yeah, right on. Well, thank you, Ken. Thank you very much. No yeah. So that'll wrap it up, I guess. And uh, he'll put it all back together. And uh, hope you guys learned something. Uh, if anything, uh, what not to do, maybe. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one.